Yo, this is Enrico back uploaded on your computer screens once again. And I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Subscribe, like this video, dislike this video. I would advise you not to dislike this video because dislikes just cause me to honestly be more uplifted. I mean, it's basically the same effect as a like. <laughs> Depending on the idol groups, these females that have a whole lot of talent and they are put into these groups that have a whole lot of girls. I don't even know how many girls. I mean, there's so many girls I can't even keep count. I don't know how many girls are in these groups. The groups are so big that you would have thought that Japan has their own female armies. In that, you know, they stand up there and they like, North Korea, I wish you would. Like, like, please shoot a missile over here. Please shoot a missile over here. Like, we just gonna dance around and sing and be sirens. And we basically want to block these missiles. But yeah, they dance around. They have their own choreography. That is specific to Japan. You know, it's not like K-pop or C-pop. It's just very normal and ordinary but at the same time it works because of the personality that's put behind these dance steps they have their own little costumes that they have on the age range is normally from very young to like i want to say like mid-20s is the cutoff point i don't think they have any girls that are like in their 30s which brings me to the graduation system that they have oh like you know a girl will be there like for a little while then they're gone then another girl comes in, and you know, it's like, oh, she graduated. And it's like, she graduated? I thought that she was a part of the group forever. Okay, once you get a certain age, once we feel like that you don't look pure and young anymore, you're gone. You gotta get out. She didn't finish all her extra credits, or she didn't come to class, or she gotta come and finish up those last tests that she didn't do because you know she was on stage dancing and just say that she was held back a grade so then she don't graduate. It, it is kind of sad when these members are leaving and it's like oh this is gonna be the last single or the last album that this girl is gonna be on and after that she's just going on to better things and a lot of the times it's not better things. It's not. I mean, there are a lot of them that really do make like those softcore porno magazines and videos. Some of them do have solo careers, but a lot of the time once they graduate, it's like, okay, they don't exist anymore. Especially to the group, it's just like, we don't know who that person is. I noticed with Triple A, they had that same thing where a member was just like, okay, I'm going to leave. I don't know if they called it graduating or not. They might have. But a lot of the girl groups... They're very young. I guess they want to have that like schoolgirl concept. But there is this thing, and it's like a very popular way to look at certain females in Japan. They love that like young, pure look. And especially like a lot of the older male fans, they really love that young, pure look where they look like they're not defiled and that. They just don't do anything dirty and they're just naive and a lot of these girl groups have that image and I, I just don't understand how you get like you know it's like that kawaii culture where they really just like it like oh kawaii and they, they just think like oh she's so cute and you being really really extra cute gets you a long way in Japan and on top of that if you're in a group and all the girls are cute and they have like this ganky song style of singing it, it just really helps out your image but they really support this concept and they just expect it to keep going on and on and they just want this youthful look and Sometimes I really think they just like, okay, we have too many girls in this group, <laughs> you know, like, and it's like, okay, you, 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 you going to graduate next month, you going to graduate two months later, you going to graduate a year later, yeah. There might be some that are just like, okay, I'm tired of this group, I'm tired of doing this, I'm tired of acting cute, I'm tired of being subjected and lusted after by these older men, having these 
meet and greet events where I have to hug these older men and they like slobbing all over me and feeling all over me just so they'll buy my album. I do like the like anti-idol groups more. I'm more of a fan of their where they're just like the complete opposite. They're not cute. They're very crude and nasty and a lot of the music is like pop rock and it's very hard and heavy. They have darker concepts and it just shatters this whole weird trend. Ooh. <coughs> Seeing some middle aged businessman like some old man lusting after these young looking girls and like just being a fan and ooh, like just having all their posters in the room and, and, and you know you can tell like it's a difference between being perverted and actually being a fan of these groups because you like the music and you know they have female fans too they're like oh yeah kawaii you're so cute and they look up to these girls because they look cute and they want to look cute just like them but that's different I'm, I'm I'm mostly like weirded out by the whole graduation system that the Japanese record labels have created so that they can continuously have the groups looking young. And you know, and it's just like, okay, um, these girls obviously know the world and have been around and it, it's really funny to see them try to catch these girls like in scandalous behavior and have all these magazines they do it for the boy idols as well arashi has been in so many scandals in magazines that it's just like i don't even know why it's even a scandal because you know that all of these musicians and idols are doing things behind the scenes and you know like probably hooking up and all sorts of stuff like that they're human you know every human has that side of them where they have needs <laughs> So, you know, it's like, I don't understand why it's such a big deal and why people just expect these idols to be pure and not do anything and just be a product and not have their own thoughts and opinions and not be able to act out on their thoughts and opinions. It's, it's just weird. You know, like, it's just weird to me. Um, making girls not have a job when they worked hard to have a spot in a group just because you feel like they're used up or they don't look young and pure enough is wrong too. I, I don't know what's going on with the world, but you know, that's their culture and they think that that's perfectly fine. And I think it's kind of weird, but that's their entertainment industry and that's just how they make their money. And you know, that's, it's just the way that it is. I, I, Japan doesn't really think that it's weird. They think it's just a normal thing and it's like a, a type of like hobby. Like, like anime and manga and it, mm, I, I don't know, like something is broken over there, like, and I love Japan. I'm not even saying that to like, be shady or hate, something's broken. Anyways, you guys, this is a lot to think about. Be sure to follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. I also have a blog on East Asian Pop Culture. The link will be in the description box below. Remember... Be real, stay real, live in the real, and I will be back.